Okay, I've got a great feature here that is kind of a two-part thing. It's part safety feature and part entertainment feature. And what this is is Apple CarPlay in the new GMC Sierra with the, with the uh, IntelliLink radio system. This is so easy. I've never been in this truck before. I've never paired my phone and my Bluetooth is currently turned off. This is how easy Apple CarPlay is. I've got my phone. This is an Apple iPhone and I've got my cable. It's the same one that I use to charge it at home with USB on one end and the Apple on the other. Okay. All we have to do is take this cord, lift up one of these covers on our center console truck here. In other trucks they'll be located in different positions but kind of the, the, the basic same area. Any of these USB ports will work. So we're just going to plug it in and then we'll plug the other end into our phone. Once we've done that, the phone is going to ask us for our passcodes. Okay, now that you've entered your passcode, it's going to ask you this question. Allow CarPlay with IntelliLink while phone is locked. We want to do that so that we can leave the phone sitting down or even in the center console completely out of sight so that we can safely go down the road. So we're going to hit allow on this. You've got not now or allow. We're going to touch allow. And after we've touched that, if you look up at the radio here, this symbol, Apple CarPlay, was not there before. It said projection. Now it says, now that we've allowed it, it says Apple CarPlay. Now we can take our phone, we can lock it, put it away, totally out of sight, out of mind. We'll come up to the screen, we'll hit the Apple CarPlay logo, and now everything from our phone is on the screen. It jumps to music uh, the first time that you plug it in, usually based on the last app that you had open on your phone. This button is just like the home button on your iPhone, right down here in the corner. If we press that, it takes us to the iPhone home screen that we're used to. Now, you'll notice that not all of your apps are on here, but all of them that are supported will show up. You can see that phone for phone calls, music for your Apple Music, Maps, which is the exact same maps that is uh, on your phone when you, when you pull it up with Apple Maps, Messages, this is for text messages, Now Playing, which is the, the media that you currently have playing, podcasts you have downloaded, audiobooks. I have the MLB at Bat app, which most sports fans will be familiar with. And then the good old classics, Pandora and Spotify. Now, you see I use these little arrows down here to slide between the two screens. You see there's two dots. That means there's two screens of information. Number one and number two. Now that we have the phone hooked up and we've got Apple CarPlay running, we want to do something. We want to call somebody or text message someone. And the easiest way to do that is actually with voice commands, okay? I'm going to show you real quickly the difference in how you press the button on the steering wheel and how the vehicle responds to you, okay? First, I'm going to take and just press very quickly the top button here on the corner of your steering wheel. You see that where it looks, uh, looks like a person's face with lines coming out of it? All right, that's your push to talk button. If we press it quickly, say a command or say help. This is the car asking us for commands. Now, it will ask this whether you have your iPhone hooked up or not, okay? And this is so that you can get, you can use your factory navigation, you can, you can change phone, XM audio, stations, anything like that. Weather or on star. To call a number quicker, say call followed I'm going to get it to leave us alone like now. Speech session ended. And what I've hit to do that, there's two buttons here that have to do with your speech. One is push to talk, the other is hang up. I didn't want to talk to the car, I want to talk to Siri. You push the button differently to speak with Siri. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to do a long press. Ready? Doesn't that sound familiar? That's the sound that Siri makes whenever you hold your home button down on your iPhone so that you can give her commands, okay? I'm going to do that one more time and I'm going to go ahead and give her a command. So watch as I long press. This is about two and a half seconds. Ready? 
Call John Bayless. Calling John Bayless. Calling John Bayless. Now it takes that straight out of my contacts. It calls John hands-free and John can easily answer us. So that's a basic overview of the just the entry level features of Apple CarPlay. Just the stuff you need to hop in the car, get on the road, keep your eyes on the road and your hands on the wheel, make your phone calls and receive your phone calls. Okay? For more tips and tricks on any of these GMC, Buick, or Chevrolet vehicles, just go to wkchevy.com. There you can chat with a specialist who can help you through this. You can also watch our other YouTube how-to videos and uh, you can learn more that way.